Imagine you could live forever, or maybe go back in time and ask your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents about their lives, their experiences. Well, that's now a possibility thanks to a new concept called StoryFile, and it's powered by, you guessed it, AI. Take a look. I'm so pleased that I met so many good people who influenced my life, and I had happy This family. is Marina Smith responding in video and interacting with her loved ones. And I feel it's coming to conclusion. Sounds like a and pretty normal video chat conversation, except for one thing. This is her funeral. The video you see here is generated by AI. And I've seen my sons doing great things and leading. She was the mother of Stephen Smith, creator and CEO of StoryFile. My co-founder and wife were concerned about the preservation of Holocaust survivors. How do we ensure that important piece of history is preserved for future generations? We wanted to be able to have a conversation with the past. I hadn't planned to bring my mother's story file to her funeral. We buried her and then everyone got around and was saying beautiful things about her. And towards the end of it, I said, I'd love to ask mother a few questions. And everybody just, there's Marina. And her smile and her personality, the one that everybody was missing in that moment. What's your story? My name is Hank Thomas, former Freedom Rider. Through an extensive library of content fed in by the user, StoryFile uses real-life expressions, mannerisms, and even accents to generate high-definition video responses. You ask a set of questions. The person answers those questions. And the, in the answers are lots of things that are not the original question. You could ask me, where were you born? And I will say, I was born in Derby, England. Oh, and by the way, that's the home of Rolls-Royce, and they have an amazing soccer team. And then suddenly I'm talking about other things other than where I was born. So what the AI is doing, actually, it's not creating new content. What it's doing is looking through all the content that's there and then bringing back from that content what you're looking for. Actor and comedian William Shatner created his own story file, and you can interact with him on the company's website. All right, now let's put this AI technology to the test. I'm going to ask a couple of questions to this machine and see what it can do. What is your name? My name is William Shatner. Fair. How about, how old are you? Uh, so I was born in 1931, and you do the math. Okay, fair enough, very direct. Let's try something more complicated. How about, what do you think about AI technology? This whole thing is the future. To be able to ask a favorite person present day. No, that's impressive. Even now you might be wondering, how safe is it? Every story file is private by default. You can share it. There's a link, you can put it on your Facebook if you want. Everybody can share it. But we assume, we assume that it's private so that you've got the confidence to be able to speak about those things that are you know, intimate and personal. As for what the future of AI looks like? What we have seen in the last six months is so revolutionary and so fast, breakneck speed fast. I can't predict what's going to happen at the end of this year, let alone five or ten years from now. Smith also pointed out that just like all new technology, there will be a learning curve all across the board, from the music and film industries to the news industry and even to our day-to-day -day lives. But he hopes and believes that with the right guidelines in place, life could be much easier and longer thanks to AI. What a time to be alive. In studio, Giovanni Diaz, Pixel 11 News.